Mexico, a land of carnivals and sombreros. Its economy is predicted to grow twice as fast as those of European countries over coming decades. And the government is actively encouraging UK firms to chase that future prosperity. It's a very different scene to this quiet country landscape, where Emma Sutton gets inspiration for her homeware brand. My daughter saw um, a little bunny over in the corner of the field there. But a report by the Department for International Trade says her quintessentially British products would be popular in Latin America. So this week she's setting off on a trade mission to meet potential customers. While I'm very excited to explore Europe still, I am very, very excited to look at emerging economies and um, to try and get new, new countries on board with Mosny Mill, because after all, what we all want is um, an international business. Northwest businesses on the trip with the Chamber of Commerce are expecting the food to be as hot as the weather. Last year, the UK exported £3.5 billion worth of products to Mexico, an increase of 20%. The perception of British products and services in Mexico is a very good one and the people that now have more money to spend, they like to show that they can afford these products or these services. They come through the second in Rover, they just separate it as well so they don't touch each other and then they just basically glide into the fridge. Chocolate was invented in Mexico so it's maybe fitting that this Preston company is also heading out there. While Beecher's Chocolates does hope to increase exports around the world, its business is actually growing fastest in Europe, and its owner believes any fears about future trade on the continent are unnecessary. They trade more with us than we do with them, um, in terms of imports and exports, so it would be advantageous, I would have thought, to have a low or no tariff position to trade between the countries. 53% of people in Preston voted to come out in the referendum. And while there's still anxiety about Brexit, some staff here agree with their boss. I'm thinking positive, and I think, you know, a lot of firms will be the same. I'd rather just get on with it. I think they're just dragging the pace at the minute, aren't they? The quicker we get on with it, the better for us, really. While there's still no agreement on how we'll trade with the EU after leaving, many businesses are optimistic about their prospects in the wider world. Growing trade there will be crucial in determining whether Brexit makes us richer or poorer in the long term. Well, I'm now joined by Stephen.